We are MDT. We design, test, and create precision rifle chassis and accessories to help you shoot better. Hey, one of the things I do when I'm hunting um, to keep the barrel dry and dust free and dirt free as possible is I like to put electrical tape on the end. It's nothing new, people have done it for years, but there's also, I run into people and I was skeptical at first. You know, your one, two, 300 yard range, not too concerned about if there's an issue with accuracy, but over the years of me doing it and testing, you know, at five, six, seven and out, I've become pretty confident that the tape doesn't affect, affect anything. And so uh, we're gonna do that a little bit. Shoot, I think we gotta target out around 340 yards we're just going to go back and forth between taped and untaped and kind of check the point of impact uh, here for you guys. What I generally do is I usually hunt with a muzzle brake. So I do, uh, if this is your barrel, I go here and around to cover the side ports. And then I just wrap in a circle around just to completely seal everything up. Um, I think that tape blows off before the barrel even gets, or the bullet even gets that tape. So you can have a lot of tape on there and it disintegrates very quickly. Guys that don't have muzzle brakes, it's real simple. You're just covering the end. So just do a little wrap over the end and a short little wrap just to keep it, keep it off. It's not rocket science. You're just keeping water out of the barrel. So just seal it up. It's pretty easy to see visually. Uh, we're gonna shoot at 340. We're also gonna use a match rifle here. Uh, they're more fun to shoot and they're very accurate. So, um, We'll show you guys kind of going back and forth between taped and untaped. We're going to shoot on a, I think it's a four inch piece of steel, shoot three, then we're going to go back through, tape them and shoot the same steel and just kind of see, make sure we're shooting consistent. So here we go. All right, tape it up. Hey, we just shot 340. Uh, we did three rounds taped, three untaped. Uh, they went right in on top of each other. We're gonna stretch it out to 600 and confirm the same thing with a couple rounds. So here we go. All right, here goes uh, a tape, tape muzzle brake at 600 yards. Just shooting that square target up there. Okay, right in there. That elevation is just what this gun's doing, if we shot a group, it's gonna be right in there. So, pretty happy with that. So, we just shot the two. First one was good, was perfect elevation. Second one was just above it. A tenth, uh, measuring through the reticle, it's a tenth, which is 1.8 inches at 600 yards. I'm not concerned about that at all. A gun shooting half him away is gonna shoot a three inch group up there, which I am thrilled to take. You know, if you're shooting a solid half him away every go, you're good to go. So, uh, if we, with this gun, if we shoot a five, 10 round group up there, we're not gonna have a one hole group. It's gonna be a you know two to three inch group. Those were under two inches apart, never gonna affect you in the field. So, um, and I don't believe I had anything to do with the tape because I've done this test over and over and that's just group discrepancy. So super happy with that.